Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my Floss Tube channel, Animal Instinct. I'm here today with my 2023 mid-year cross-stitch whip parade. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. There's a lot of whip parades out at the moment, so thanks for spending some time with me. Thank you to all of my existing subscribers and welcome if you're new. If you are new and you enjoy seeing my projects and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I publish next. Really quick introduction if you are new. As I said, my name's Kelly. I live in Adelaide in South Australia. I am a veterinarian, hence the channel name, and I have a lot of animals in my projects. I'm sure most people do, <laughs> um, but I do love my animals. I stitch on a wide range of um, different genres and I'm looking forward to going through and sharing with you what I've been working on in the first half of 2023. Speaking of animals, I'm sure you heard that galloping, <laughs> one of the cats. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the pieces I've finished this year and I've finished 11 projects, so I'm really happy with that. Then um, I have about eight or nine projects that I had started before 2023 and then my new starts for this year. So let's jump into the finishes. Just realised <laughs> that looks a bit odd. It's a tiger. <laughs> so if you can see that ears poking out, that's what, that's what that is. Okay, so first up is Plague Doctor by Busby Designs. I got the pattern from Etsy and I started it in 2019 um, and finally finished it on the 7th of January this year. So it was finished quite early on um, in the year. So I'll pop a photo in of where it was at the start of the year. And that's the finish. I have shown this several times now. Uh, I worked on it for seven days and did about 8,000 stitches. So it's on a 28 um, count opal cashew linen in rhubarb and custard by Chromatic Alchemy and I started doing one over one full cross to about here just that bit there and then I swapped to two over one tent stitch um, I also invested in a magnifier and that combination really helped me <laughs> power on through and get a finish I'd like to um, find like a gothic sort of black frame um, for this piece eventually. Next piece I finished was, um, oh, I guess it was this one. So a couple of Biscorn news. Um, I went to a finishing class at our Embroiderers Guild and I did this little one. Um, the emphasis was on learning the finishing technique rather than actually stitching. So there's not much stitching there, but I started and finished and fully finished it in a day. And then I enjoyed that um, four sided stitch finish. And I just finished the stitching on this one. So I went ahead and finished it the same way. So this is um, from the Tiny Modernist, the elephant is quite new. It's on um, 32 count antique white linen to over over two. It's a lot, a lot bigger. <laughs> All right, next up, I love this one. This was my New Year's Eve new start on December 31st, 2022. And it's Sun Camera Motorcycle, inspired by Ron, artwork by Ron West and um, charted and kitted by Nitka Moscow. Ah, really enjoyed this one. So one of many that I would like to do something with to display it, frame it, I guess. Uh, what did I do for that one? I've got notes here, but they're kind of, the text is really small. Um, uh, 22 days of work, um, 15,000 stitches. Okay, next up is Nun Harvesting Phalluses by Christie's Corner. This is the first in her Medieval Marginalia series. 
So she's converted artwork that um, was placed in the margins of medieval texts into cross stitch. Um, she's got two patterns out so far and I know she's working on a third so I'm looking forward to that. Um, this first one is a little bit rude so if there are little eyes watching you might want to just fast forward a minute or so. Um, so this one is Nun Harvesting Phalluses. It's on 40 count linen um, from Colour and Cotton in Swiss Coffee and I stitched it with the Cold 4 DMC and um, just plenty of warning I am going to show it up now. A lot of fun to stitch. <laughs> so I started that one uh, on the 14th of February, that's right, um, and I finished it in April. I started that with Joe from Blue She Stitches and then we went on and did the second one in the series which I'll show you as well. It's on the same piece of fabric and this one is the medieval butt trumpet. And I showed this in my last false tube. Here we go. With some um, metallic threads in there too. We're looking forward to seeing what she comes up with next. All right. My next three finishes are from the Stitches Collective Earth Day collaboration um, and I have a whole bundle of these patterns that I'd like to slowly work through. The first one I did was the Earth Day Sea Otter by Bad Stitch and it's really cute. That's it. It's on a 16 count Ada in J by Picture This Plus and pretty sure you can probably buy this from directly from Bad Stitch now. So I'm going to um, stitch these and put them together in a bit of a quilt like this, but um, not anytime soon. <laughs> the next Earth Day piece I stitched was Arctic Friends by Flossy Fox Shop. I love that colour of Ada. It's on 14 count raw blue Ada. I'm going to call it four colours. And then my third finish in that series was Biodiversity Matters oops, by Pixel Pixie Cross Stitch. And this was on 32 count homespun linen by Lakeside Linens. And I used some Cosmo threads for this. Did I say Biosecurity Matters? I don't know. Biodiversity Matters. <laughs> Biosecurity Matters as well. <laughs> but in this context. My next finish was The Pilgrim by Long Dog Samplers. I'm going to pop a photo of my finish in here because I don't have it with me. Um, it's not quite at the framers, but hopefully I'll get, the, I'll get it there soon. <laughs> I'm really keen to get this one framed. This is one of my oldest projects, started in 2018. At the start of this year, I was at 45% complete and I decided I wanted to get it done um, by the middle of this year. And I stitched on it for 44 days um, this year and did about 31,000 stitches to finish it and I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. It's on 36 count linen um, stitched with Silks for You PR011 um, for the main colour and PR140 for the text. And then my last finish for the first half of this year was Accept Grandmas by Lindy Stitches. Um, this is a present for my parents and I have sort of semi-gifted it to them. I still want to frame it for them, <laughs> um, but they've got the, the stitched piece at the moment. Um, I wanted their input on what sort of frame they wanted. Um, this was stitched on 32 count cream the Ghana, um, and I used the cold for DMC, except I changed the, um, the green text at the top to blue, and I changed grandmas to nan and pa's, because that's how they're known. Um, I had only done the roof I think at the start of the year and I just decided I was on like a finishing kick and decided I wanted to get it done and I did about 4,000 stitches in three days don't recommend that but anyway
that one's all done and um, yeah hopefully I'll, I'll frame it for them soon too. I'm going to try and do that one myself. Alright so now we'll move on to projects that were already started at the start of this year and I've got nine. First up is Firefly. This is artwork by Jay Parks and it's um, kitted, charted and kitted by Gecko Rouge. It's a big one, 1065 by 700 stitches. Um, I'll pop a photo in of it at the start of the year. And this is what I've done this year. I've, I've stitched, I'm stitching this cap, focusing on this cap. I've worked on it for 18 days and I've done about 11,500 stitches. So not as many as I thought I would have by now, but um, I think it looks amazing. Almost looks like a photograph. Now, I don't think I can show you the whole... No, I can't show you the whole thing because I've got this wall here and all. I can't go back far enough, but let me just show you a bit more of it. Um, what's the best way to do this? So it's on 25 count Lugana. The cats are stitched one over one full cross and the background is two over one tenth stitch. This is the cap that I stitched last year. That's Simon. And then that's the one I'm working on at the moment. No, it's not. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> and then um, the year before that, I finished this cat. So this is based, if you're not familiar, this is based on the TV show Firefly, the characters, um, but reimagined as cats. Because why not? <laughs> There we go. That was the cat that I finished um, the year before. He goes all the way down like that. He's the captain. And I wonder if I can get it all in. Of a photo in. <laughs> That's my labour of love. It's going to take a very long time to get through that piece but um, I'm determined to one day. Okay so my next work in progress is Mermaid's Folly by the Courtney, by Courtney Collection. Sorry. Oh, lost two bitchy nose again. And I was really happy um, with what I got done earlier uh, in May when I worked on this in May. So um, I'll pop a photo in of where it was at the start of the year. And here it is now. It's on 40 count linen in Murky by Picture This Plus. And I'm just using DMC 3371. So I did the this column of pages here this year. I've worked on it for 12 days, about 8,000 stitches. Uh, it goes really quickly because it's just the one colour. Yeah. Looking forward to getting the next column of pages in there sometime. Next up is my Chatelaine. It's the Taj Mahal mandala. Um, if I've got a photo, I'll pop it in what it's going to look like. Um, I'm doing this one on 32 count black Belfast linen. And pop a photo in of where it was at the start of the year. And Now it's looking brilliant. Look at that Taj. It's so good. So I've got all of that building in this year. I definitely need to come back to this one sooner rather than later. I think Reggie might agree. 
Okay, next is a bit of a pitiful one. Actually, I think the next two, yep. Um, oh, with the Taj Mahal, I've worked on it for four days and I got about 2,300 stitches in. Okay, my next one is um, the Cat Sampler by Heartstring Samplery. This one. This one I was I started in 2019, actually same as my Chatelaine. I started this exactly a month after the Chatelaine. Um, and sadly it just has never really called to me. Um, I won't UFO it, I'll keep going, but I don't know. I don't know why I never think to work on it. So I'm stitching it on 40 count linen in Legacy by Picture This Plus with called for fancy floss and that's what I've done this year I have worked on it for one day and put 300 stitches in so I don't really know why but anyway <laughs> you can't get to them all I guess the next one is a similar sad <laughs> tale and it is Sunny Beach by Anna Stitch on Etsy um, this one I'm doing on 16 count Ada, so a bit different um, for a full coverage for me. And I think the image is beautiful, it's easy to stitch on this um, fabric, but again, it just doesn't call to me. Um, again, no thoughts of UFOing it, but um, yeah, it just hasn't had as much as I would have thought. I actually thought I could finish it this year, but I've got over 25,000 stitches left, it's just not going to happen. So I've worked on it for four days, 620 stitches. So I don't know what was going on to get that few stitches, but um, yeah, it's all right. Next one was a sad tale, except I recently put some work into it and actually I think I've done more since my last floss tube update I think and this is the Bayon Cat by Our Forest Embroidery I got it as a kit with um, their own threads and the dyed uh, linen it's 32 count Belfast linen and I have worked on this one for three days but I've I've done about 1500 stitches and I just um, grabbed the blue out and just went for it the other day and I've done quite a lot now I just felt like getting the blue outline of the cat and then filling filling things in from there so Uh, maybe that one could be a finish sooner rather than later. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, next one is Warrior Woman. This is by Medusa Dollmaker and it's charted and kitted by um, Gecko Rouge. And I've seen that Medusa Dollmaker is now charting her own um, artwork now for cross stitch on her Etsy page if you're interested. So you can buy them as PDFs. Um, whereas with Gecko Rouge you have to buy the kit. So I don't know, um, you know, what the difference is. Um, but yeah, she started um, offering that as an option, which is really great. This is Warrior Woman. Love this one. I started this on my birthday last year. I'm doing it on 25 count, one over one full crosses. And I've only worked on it for five days this year and I put in about 3,000 stitches. I got it from 1.62% to 4%. So made a start on her hair. Need to get back to it. Like everything else. Okay, next one is in one of my new little um, Project bags from Taran, teaser handmaids, a little coffee bag for my coffee project. This is 
Coffee Drinker's Confession by Heartstring Sampler. And I started this one late, the last couple of days of last year. This has been a bit of a travel piece. I haven't done a huge amount, but I have taken it out and about with me um, just because it is so little. That is where I'm up to. And I'm stitching it on Body Count Linen in Smoky Chimney by XG Designs. One over two. And I'm actually using Itchy Stitchy Threads. So they're an Australian business who are now offering their own um, threads at a good price. And they have like DMC conversion on their website. My last uh, project that I'd already started before this year um, was one of the multiple <laughs> um, spooky starts that I started in October with Joe from Belushi Stitches. And this one, um, Deb Wilson also started with us and she's miles ahead. Um, this is the only one of that group that I have touched this year and it's barely a touch. I think I've worked on it for one day and 250 stitches, but it's Lola Crow Cross Stitches Haunted Library, which was a mystery stitch along. It's really clever. Um, that's all I've done. It's on 28 count even weave um, in week T by Jay's X Stitch. And I, yeah, I've just put in 250 stitches so far this year. So not much, not much to show there. Uh, I'm sure we'll get back to it. I really like that piece. And it is living in a little drawstring bag I made um, with suitable fabric. Okay, last section. Let's look at the projects I've started but not yet finished this year. And there's only eight. So I've actually had... Was it 11 finishes and 8 starts? So I'm a little bit ahead. Unfortunately, I do have more new starts planned. Oh well. My first new start for the year was on my birthday, and which is in February, and it was Love by Danny Lizeth. It's another Gecko Rouge kit. And I swapped out the kit fabric for. 25 count Lugana in Stormy Night um, by Swigart and I'm stitching it one over one full cross and I've worked on it for 21 days um, I've done about 14 and a half thousand stitches and I'm at 27 percent definitely want to pull this one out again um, this is the, the kitten up to the back of the kitten's ear here so I think, yeah, I think this is kind of the edge of that kitten. Uh, and then you've got the noses touching and then the, the bigger cat mm, carries on. My next new start was my first Mill Hill kit. A gift from a friend. And should have thought about this beforehand. Hang on. It is cheers. And it's coming along really well. I've used this one as a travel kit as well. It's a little bit harder now because I'm up to feeding. Um, that's where it's at. So it'll say cheers along the bottom and I've still got the beads in the in the glass one of the glasses to go. Lots of fun. I haven't been keeping track of stitches or anything with that one, it just lives in my handbag and I do a little bit as and when. Um, the next one is just a small start. This is Animals Farm by Nikki's Creations. It's a really dark cover photo. That's the whole thing. And I've started it on 
40 count linen in Legacy by Picture This Plus. Uh, 1 over 2 using the, I think, the Cold Core DMC. Um, I've only spent a day on this, about 350 odd stitches. So just a small start. My next new start for the year was the next Lola Crow cross stitch mystery stitch along, the Greenhouse of Oddities. Uh, that is underway, but I'm well behind and with no chance of catching up, but it looks amazing. Um, this is what I have done to date. And just ignore the hanging black threads. I haven't got back to fixing them yet. There we are. So at the moment, I'm focusing still on the first, the first planting. We did have a very long time to get that frame done and I didn't do it. <laughs> so I'm just focusing in on this bit at the moment. It's on a 32 count French pair. So it's Belfast Linen by uh, number 12 Stitch Co. I think I've worked on it for four days. Yeah, about 2,000 stitches. Next is a um, piece by Unconventional Cross Stitch. And I bought a kit. It's curious. And it is Galar. I've had a real craving to stitch some Australian themed pieces. This fit the bill nicely. I'm doing it on 18 count Ada, 2 over 1 full cross and I've made a very small start on it. Um, I only worked on it for one day and did about 660 stitches and <laughs> fabric is a little wrinkled. Oh well, excuse the, the wrinkledness. So just some soft pinks to start with. Next up is my current Earth Day Piece that I got through the Stitches Collective and again you can probably buy the patterns um, direct from the, each designer now and I have made a very small start on Gaia by Quaternion Creations. This is where I'm at. It's on a 16 count Ada in Petals by Picture This Plus and it's this beautiful Cottage Garden Threads, um, Threads, <laughs> Floss, called Liar Bird Walk. It's just really pretty colours. I think I just did, yeah, it was a very small start, about 160 <laughs> stitches. So I need to get back to this one. All right, now we have a couple of starts I did in May um, as part of Mermania. And these are my last two starts for the first half of the year. So first up was The Red Mermaid by RTO. And a whole group of us started this and it's been nice to share progress. Um, I need to get back to mine soon. I think the rest of you might as well. <laughs> Um, I swapped out the kit fabric for a 32 count linen in Outback Sky by number 12 Stitch Co. And that's where I'm at. And she's just beautiful. Oh, definitely another one I really would like to get back to sooner rather than later. <laughs> There's too many. My very last new start uh, so far is The Mermaid of Salem Bay by The Primitive Hair. Um, and I'm stitching this on the Cold Four linen, which is called Pirates by The Primitive Hair. It's a 30 count, stitching it with the Cold Four um, floss. And this is my start. So the fabric has the, the printing on it. Um, yeah, looking good. This is actually one that I think I could probably finish this year. So, 
famous last words. We'll see. See what happens at the end of year week parade. Um, but that's coming along really nicely. I've worked on it for... I know I've forgotten to say this for some of them. <laughs> the Red Mermaid, I've done about 3,000 stitches. Um, and this one, I've done about 3,500. Seems like a lot. I think that's right. I am manually counting these, so potentially overestimated that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So that's all my stitching for the first half of 2023. I had a lot of fun putting that together and going through everything. It's kind of inspired me to pull out a few different pieces to work on. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again with a regular stitching update at the end of the month. We'll see you then. Bye.